Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 28th through January 3rd. Keep in mind that uh, these these readings are uh, timeless, which means the timing is still fluid, and uh, not every reading is for you. So this reading may or may not be for you, okay? If you don't believe, it's probably not for you, okay? So um, what do we have for Pisces? Happy New Year. So what do we have for Pisces? For the week of, we're saying the week of, and we'll see if it happens during this week. A lot of times they're spot on, and they do happen during that week. You never know. I really feel like you don't have anything to worry about. I think if you're worried about something, there's nothing to worry about. Everything is going to turn out as it should. The sun. So this is a yes. It's a, it's a it's the birth of a new life. It's uh, I mean Empress is as well, but the sun is a rebirth. It's a renewal. It's a warm, happy place. It's extreme bliss. It's it's a yes answer. Um, being accepted. Great health. Very positive. Positive news. Uh, shining. Shining very bright. Um, oh, there's a card. Oh, oh, there's two awakening so judgment as well so this is everything turning out as it should it's interesting because we have two sides to every situation we do um, every this is awakening more in the morning so there's something about the Sun coming up in the morning seeing the light a major wake-up call a major awakening that is going to bring you happiness this is a card of resurrection and renewal this one's renewal and resurrection so there is an opportunity for renewal here we have a new beginning here awakening is the end of a trial right it's it's a judgment Okay, this is a judgment card. This is the end of a trial. Okay, it's time for the final decision. This is a life-changing decision. This is a breakthrough. Yes, there is acceptance here. This is the end. Okay, it's the end of a situation. You will be accepted. Now, for some of you... You know, judgment is a card of chance, it's a card of resurrection, it's a card of reconciliation, acceptance, forgiveness, absolution. So this is the end of something. Somebody's making a life-changing decision that is going to bring them a lot of happiness. This is extreme happiness. There's renewal in both of these cards. So this is some sort of breakthrough. You will be accepted. Whatever that means, there is acceptance here. There's also some sort of responsibility being assigned with the judgment card. But whatever it is, it's a very positive outcome because this is very positive. This is joy, happiness, a bright, warm place. This is enlightenment where you can just be yourself. There's, there's nothing to worry about. So if you've been worrying, there's nothing to worry about. Everything is going to uh, turn out as it should, like I said. Now this is a card of the past, so I'm wondering if there's the past, something to do with the past here. I don't know. Hmm. Is 
this is the end because judgment is the end. It's the end of a trial period. Decision is being made. And the answer is yes. Whatever that means, the answer is yes. And take those. Cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Elephant. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Somebody may be taking a journey. Cat. <laughs> yeah. A two-faced friend. So you have a two-faced friend. But all will be revealed, so keep that in mind. It could be dealing with a Scorpio. I'm not sure. It could be dealing with a Leo. Um, you are protected from negative forces beyond your control. And this is, now this, there's something to, you know, this, the judgment can be something, somebody that has already passed away, you know what I mean? Or this is somebody from your past, um, and there is protection here, there is. I think that you're going to be really, really shining during this week. You may be glowing because this is a very glowing energy. This is the birth of a new life. And I know it's not the Empress, but the Sun card as well. There's a lot of love here. It's a, it's a very beautiful new beginning. Okay, this is a breakthrough. This is, this is um, extreme happiness coming your way by the looks of things. It's, it's the end of some sort of karmic situation by the looks of things because judgment is a card of karma all right the end of things forgiveness as well judgment is a card of forgiveness Pentacles reversed. Unstable. Somebody's unstable, insecure, stubborn, possessive, materialistically focused. Interesting. The hangman. So the hangman is it could be your energy. That is somebody that is struggling. Struggling, you know, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Now the hangman is about ego, <laughs> so uh, yeah. So this is this is something that you must struggle with. You need you must struggle through. You must struggle to let go of. This is surrender. Let it go. You're, somebody is learning some sort of lesson, and I feel like a new perspective is needed. Okay, a new perspective is needed. There's there's a, somebody's not being practical with the King of Pentacles reversed. There's a lack of practicality. Um, there's an opportunity for happiness here, but this is a card of truth as well. Okay, so you have to be honest, all right? So this is thinking about something, thinking of thinking long and hard, thinking about, I don't know, the past. Somebody's thinking about the past. They're thinking about their new life. They're thinking about the future, but there's a lack of practicality here with the King of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody that is unstable, okay? More interested in money than they are love or in any type of relationship. This is somebody that is more focused on financial stability than they are um, anything else, okay? So let's just keep going. Hierophant. I'm not sure if we're dealing with a Taurus. We have Taurus here, Taurus here, but we also have Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Leo, Pisces. Um, very strong energy here. So we have a lot of majors, and we have a, we have a court card. So that tells me that the universe, the universe is driving you. The universe is driving a change. Okay, they're guiding you. There's there's guidance here. You are being guided. And, I, you know, I'm not sure if it's because guidance, this is guidance. The Hierophant is about guidance, okay? Maybe there's guidance, you know, there could be a somebody that has passed away that is guiding you. Um, or there's, there's need to listen. Listen to your gut. Somebody needs to listen to their gut. 
Some of you are dealing, definitely dealing with a Taurus. Look at that. We're mirroring each other. Struggling to let go. Now this is a new perspective is needed. Happiness is more important than money. Okay? Happiness it is. Okay? And maybe some people think money is, is happiness. I mean, whatever. Mm, being judged. Somebody could be judged this week with the judgment card. There's karma here. That is a card of karma. Somebody may be judged for their inability to let go of something. There's, there's forgiveness that is needed because judgment is a card of forgiveness and this is uh, holding on. This is like a martyr. Okay, it is. You got a point to prove and that's the way it goes. But this is a break for through. This is a new day. This is listening to... Somebody's going to be listening to their gut. There's faith here. There's a higher power. And this is like a guiding light. So there's, there's somebody that is going to be seeing the light. They're going through a period of enlightenment. And they're going to a better place. Okay. Because that is a very warm, happy place. Protection from negative forces beyond your control. There, You are protected. Now this is a higher power. Probably telling you to listen to your gut. Listen to your gut. What do you want? What are you struggling to let go of? And so I'm telling you what. You're struggling to let go of something. There's a need to let go and, and, and forgive or move on or whatever the hell that is. Uh, what is this hangman reversed? Let go of the possessiveness or the possession, you know, because the king of pentacles is very possessive. And this could be an actual person. It could be. doesn't have to be. It could be you. Okay, the king of pentacles is somebody that's very selfish, very materialistic, very money-driven driven by greed, driven by money, very, very stubborn energy. Both of these both of these cards, very stubborn. So we have a very stubborn individual here that is driven by financial gain. And are you ready to be judged for that? Are you ready to be judged? Because there's judgment here. There's a higher power that is involved this week. Defeat. Five of Swords, that's my most worst card in the deck, you know, because it's belittlement. It's hurting another person, not caring, wanting to win at all costs. We have somebody here that wants to win at all costs. They don't care who they hurt, pushing people away. Um, and surrender is needed. Somebody is walking away. Somebody is walking away um, because they can't win. They're in a lose-lose situation. So you may be dealing with some sort of battle this week okay somebody's leaving they're leaving they've been struggling they've been struggling they've been hanging on for some time maybe it could be you walking away it could be somebody that you're dealing with somebody is is leaving behind a power struggle they've been struggling a lot and, and they may have been holding on to something because of its material value and this could be an actual thing it could be a home could be a car could be a business could be a person somebody's been holding on to something that was material materialistic okay it was material but it wasn't uh, probably wasn't making them very happy but there is an opportunity for happiness yeah they may have but they, they may have thought it was making them happy but anyhow this is a battle for the five of swords this is feeling defeated and walking away letting somebody have it it's like go ahead it's yours you know i don't want it take it i'm out of here you know I'm leaving. It's being guided to walk away. So you are being guided to walk away from something or the other person is who could go either way. I think it's been a serious battle. It's been a serious struggle to let go. Um, but there's a new day here. There's a new day. There's a new beginning with that sun card. This is a very positive uh, decision. Okay, because this is positive. This is decision. A life-changing decision. 
Okay, a life-changing decision is being made this week. And it does involve walking away from something that was uh, materialistic in some way. Okay, it was something to have, it was something to hold, but it was... Uh, painful to be in you know it was painful to be in it was uh, a lose-lose situation temperance reversed let's get one more to go with that strength so you need to have the strength or somebody needs to have the strength and the courage and the confidence to really master their emotions and accept change. This is not wanting to go with the flow, not wanting to cooperate, not wanting to accept that something is over. So somebody needs to accept that something is over and they're struggling to accept it. This is needing to find the strength to... Uh, Persevere. So the perseverance is going to be needed this week. I feel like you are very strong. I think that you are very capable and you have the ability to remain in control of your emotions. Okay, you're, you're probably going to have to control your emotions this week. There's, there's going to be some sort of uh, decision that is made. Probably, I think the universe is involved here because we have a lot of majors. Most of these, we only have two cards that aren't majors. So when you have mostly majors in a reading, major arcanas, that means the universe is driving a change. Okay, we only have two that are not major, 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 major. So we got all, so the universe is driving a change. They are, they are saying that you need to master your emotions. You need to act with integrity. And I'm not saying that you're not. You need to... Uh, not repeat the same mistakes that you have made because a temperance card reversed is repeating the same mistakes. You need to uh, accept and allow, you know, and forgive. And I think that forgiveness is big here. I think we have somebody here that is extremely stubborn and cannot forgive. They may say they can forgive, but words are one thing and actions are another. So I feel like this is a lose-lose situation where... The best option is probably to walk away, okay? Uh, you are being guided. There's a higher power here that is um, guide. It's a guiding light. Okay, this is a guiding light. So somebody is being guided, you know, in a new direction. They absolutely are. Um, but they're struggling. Somebody is really, really struggling to let go of whatever it is that they're hanging on to. And whatever it is that they're hanging on to, is a, it's like a hostile situation. Okay, it's hostile. There's, def, there's defeat. There's a need to walk away. And you, you, you can't win no, even if you try. Okay. Um, so I feel like this week you, there could be some, you know, uneasiness. Okay, with the temperance reverse, there could be uneasiness, there could be moodiness, there could be frustrations because, you know, uh, letting go isn't easy. So I, I feel like that's what's going on this week. I feel like you're letting go of something for happiness. Okay, and there could be, I mean, I, don't, I mean, um, the judgment card could be uh, reconciliation of some sort. Okay, um another chance somebody may be getting another chance and there's an acceptance here both those cards are acceptance judgment and the sun so that is acceptance but then there's 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 the temperance reversed is lack of acceptance maybe you need to accept it or somebody that you're dealing with needs to accept it you know need somebody needs to accept it now the hierophant um is faith and trust, a need to have faith, and a need to listen. We have a very spiritual individual here who has may have some sort of advice for you or may have some sort of gift, okay? The Hierophant is, is typically um, has a direct connection to God or a higher power. So there's a higher power that is definitely guiding you. 
um, away from an unbalanced situation. There's this, is, there's imbalance here. That it, there's negative repetitive patterns that have been repeated. There's excessive behavior. Something is off. There's a need to reevaluate your decisions and find your strength and your courage to uh, persevere over whatever this turbulence is. You maybe experience some sort of turbulence right now. Um, I feel like self-healing is needed as well. We have heal healing, healing, healing. Healing is needed. So maybe somebody's been doing some healing, you know. Um, but this is a roller coaster. I mean, the temperance is a roller coaster, and we've talked about roller coasters before, okay? Maybe it's time to get off the roller coaster. I hate roller coasters. Anyhow. Um, there's inappropriate behavior here and somebody really needs to control their emotions, master their emotions and find their strength to let go of something. They need to find their strength to let go of an unhealthy pattern or an unhealthy behavior or something that they're hanging on to. Um, yeah, so I think that this week you're going to be thinking about the past. You're going to be thinking about the future. I feel like um, you've been in some sort of hostile situation where there is some sort of protection and they are trying to guide you out of it. But I feel like you're trying, you're stubbornly holding on to something of materialistic value, whatever that is, but it's not really valuable to you anymore. You know what I'm saying? You have a new beginning here. You are being guided towards happiness. You may be experiencing some mood swings. You may be feeling emotionally unstable. You may be feeling like things are out of your control. And that may that may make you feel uneasy but you are being called to accept and allow so anyway I feel like this week you're going to be given an opportunity to make a life changing decision that leads to happiness be sure that you don't repeat the same mistakes because you will be judged you will be I mean that judge is being judged are you ready to be judged are you ready to be judged ask yourself that question Anyway, Pisces, I feel like uh, this is a very positive week of change for you. Put it that way. You, whatever this is, there is acceptance. And there is release. And there is forgiveness. Let me get one more card. swords the eight of swords is uh, mental turmoil trapped somebody is trapped but they are reevaluating you are going to be reevaluating I feel like you're, you're in some sort of mental turmoil over walking away over leaving something over starting this new life over making this life-changing decision you are making a life-changing decision this week and I feel like you are in a lot of mental turmoil because of it this is my prison card, so it always comes up. Judgment is karma. Whoop! 
So there is definitely some karma here. There's betrayal. Somebody has been betrayed. But it's time to forgive, right? And break free from that mentality. There's some sort of mentality that you need to break free from. There's nothing to prove. Happiness is more important than proving anything. Be careful not to repeat your same patterns. Control your emotions. Somebody else may, may, be, may be making the decision to walk away. They're, you know, somebody's walking away from something. They are. And they've been struggling and hanging on. They've been hanging on, but now they're leaving. They're being guided to. Anyhow. You're, it's like, you see this card, it says shortened force. It's like somebody is, is, is allowing themselves to be forced into a situation, you know? You're not really forced to stay where you're at. You can break free. You're being called to break free. You have guidance from above that is telling you to break free. Break free from that mentality that you have to stay where you're at. You have an opportunity for happiness and a warm place. Good luck.